What do you want from me, man? I want it all. Take it off. Bro, get away from me. Give it all back, bro. You're just, just going to let him do this to me? She's in on it. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, no way. That's, that's, Yo, why, that's, why, that's my sidekick. Oh. Cool shop you got, but you, you owe your life. Dude, you're an idiot. You're actually an idiot. Keep crying. I'm about to get off. Nah. <laughs> Keep crying. <laughs> nice walls. No. Your bro thinks he's playing Fortnite. He's building. Get him. Dude, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Forecraft. We are back here on the server today. Thank you guys all so much once again for all the love and support on every single episode, man. You guys have been crushing it. Seeing all the positive feedback really makes me want to keep grinding these episodes out for you guys. So really do appreciate all the love. Anyways, I've been doing a lot of grinding off camera. As you guys can see, we got full hey, diamond armor yet again, which honestly should not be that impressive this far in the series. But as you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff cooking in the furnaces here. Take a look at our coal chest. We got a lot of coal here, which is really good with that fortune three pickaxe we got a lot of iron ingots we stocked up on copper as well we're looking pretty good out here we got lapis tons of redstone i think today's the day we finally build our potion shop okay and there's actually a couple things that is going to be able to help us do that today so mickey actually ended up making a mob grinder i've been looking for a skeleton spawner for like hours and i could not find one but luckily she made one and she offered that i could use it but obviously we're not just going to use it for free i feel like that'd be pretty rude we also guys got a lot of more diamonds in the inventory okay look at these diamonds guys we're pretty rich now and we also reserve 12 over here because we do owe as part of our contract we signed a contract that we owe 12 diamonds for all those books we bought in the last episode but i'm also gonna bring some more diamonds with me just because you know i might want to actually upgrade one of my axes Oh, sweet. We're actually level 30. We can we can enchant again. Dude, our iron chest is stacked, bro. We can actually enchant one more item here. So let's take our lapis out. Let's take off our helmet. So we can get protection three on the helmet. We already have that. Fire protection three on the boots. That's not bad. Oh, by the way, look at our sword, guys. We're actually moving up in the world. Diamond axe. Fortune two on a diamond axe. That's interesting. I don't know if I like any of these trades, to be honest with you guys. Come on, bro. Please give me something good for the axe. Efficiency four on the axe. I mean, the thing is, Mickey does have efficiency five. So I don't really know if I want to do that. Whatever. We'll enchant a little bit later. Let's just head over to Mickey's base and see what we could get over there. Oh my God. Did she build an entire mob grinder right on top of her base? Hello? Hello. I like, uh... I like this giant uh, mob grinder you got here. Thank you, thank you. Does it actually work, though? Oh I my god. What is going I, on in there? I hit it about four or five times, and I'm already at level 15 from level four, so... I actually got something for you, by the way. Oh? So I'm gonna give you this back, and I'm gonna give you your 12 diamonds as part of the agreement. Hey, let's go. Damn, that was fast. You know, we be grinding out here, all right? I actually got a lot more diamonds now, so I might have to make some purchases from you today if you're down. Yeah, I'm done. So wait, can you show me how this works? What do I do? Just smack the mobs or whatever? Yeah. Oh, this is... No, nah, this is incredible. Wait, where does all the loot go? Uh, it just goes back here, so you can take whatever you need if, while you're working on it. Oh, that is actually so clutch. Because I need spider... <laughs> Wait, does this drop spiders too or no? No. Wow. Okay. Yo, actually, do you have any bows? Like a, like a bow and arrow that I can enchant real quick? Let me try this out here. If you need lapis, there's a barrel of lapis. Ooh, I can get a power four bow. Hold on. That's Yo, actually pretty good. That's, that's kind of crazy. That's all it gave me though. So kind of, it's kind of, it's all right. It's all right. We'll take it though. It's scamming you. It is scamming. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Actually, can I buy some more books? So I want to get a fully really good diamond axe, but I need um, all the books for it. Yeah. Uh, Give me a couple minutes. Perfect. I'm going to keep whacking these guys. Ooh, wait a minute. Feather falling three on the boots. Yo, we kind of need that. Yeah, we're going to take that. I've been taking so much fall damage respiration three on the helmet dude we're getting some really good enchantments out here hold up although my helmet's kind of damaged i wonder if she has an anvil around here somewhere wait a minute we can make it on breaking three bow and then combine it with our power four bow dude why does it not give me like better enchantments though this is such a scam yeah. um i have all the books for you too oh yeah, yeah okay so what is it three diamonds per book yeah all right i got you wait how many books is this four four uh 12 if i did my math correctly what's 19 minus 12 okay that should be 12 diamonds right there all right i'm gonna i'm gonna try to see if i can get a really good bow from this is the mob grinder working well for you oh the mob is farm the... oh it's it's amazing you kidding me god this good. saves so much time oh my god what what look at the bow i just got wait wait no look at this this is ridiculous that was all in one enchantment <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, it came with five enchantments. Are you serious? Can I even combine no these? I can combine these. Spending so many levels for this. Wait, shoot me. I'll tell you how many. No, I don't think I should do that. It won't kill me in one. All right, we'll see. Head shot. <laughs> uh, 
It only did three hearts. I can't wait till you get all your stuff fully enchanted enchant and stuff, and then all of a sudden you'll see. Oh my god, no, no. I'd never, I don't want to see that at all. No, that can't happen. I lost like all my best stuff today, like three times. All right, well, you know what? Since uh, you helped me out a lot here with the mob grinder, I'm going to give you seven extra diamonds there. Yay. Because I got I'm a lot of enchants. Richness. No, I'm going to be a returning customer for sure. Because I'm there's no way I'm doing any villager enchantments by myself. That's just not... I'm not doing that again. No way. Nice doing business with you as always. Heck yeah. Adios. Peace out. And just like that, guys, we got some of the best tools already. We really do need to upgrade to netherite pretty soon. Now all we got to do is just make sure I don't lose my stuff. Wait a minute. What is this? Hold up. Who left this here? Hold up. Did anyone else do something to my base? Whatever. We got to check this out. Dear Formula. Wow. I have so much to tell you. I logged on to Forecraft and was so stoked to see your gift. That was so kind and truly made my birthday so special. But I stepped away for just a moment to restock my sugar cane. And then when I came back, a thief must have broken in and stole and destroyed everything. Wait, this is from Maddie, right? They took the entire DJ station and dipped. I'm not sure who the culprit is, but we have a criminal on our hands in this server. One of our own. Friend has become a foe. We cannot stand for this. We must find who did it and get my DJ station back. Thank you so much for your kindness and for thinking of me on my birthday. Sincerely, Maddie. P.S. The drink was lit. Luckily, the thief did not get their hands on that. Thanks. What? Yo, you gotta be kidding me. Someone stole the gift that I made for Maddie? Nah, bro, wait, we gotta, we gotta go investigate this before any further notice, guys. Now that's messed up. Who is stealing a birthday present, bro? Like, you gotta be one of the lowest of the low to do that. It's probably Dylan, though. He's, he seems like he would steal something. Let's go investigate a little bit, shall we? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, in the last episode, it was Maddie's birthday, and I decided to surprise her by making a DJ set inside of her house, but apparently someone stole it. So, yeah, we gotta figure out who the thief is. I have a feeling I already know who it is and we're gonna go find that out right now oh well well look whose base we're at right now we're at dylan's base yeah he probably stole the gift that i gave her let's go find out maybe he set up the dj booth in his house all right everything still seems to look the same here okay i'm not seeing any dj booth yet huh this would this seems like the spot he would put the dj set but it's not there maybe it wasn't dylan i don't know yeah i don't see it in his storage room or his nether wart room i don't think he would put it in the mine shaft am i gonna get roasted for accusing him of stealing wait now what if it's back here somewhere Somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's over here either. Yeah, this is very odd, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder who could have taken it. You know what? What if, what if Maddie sabotaged it herself? What if she didn't like my gift and deleted it? What if, what if that's what actually happened here? Now, we gotta start asking questions to everybody on the server. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Looks like Maddie has a second house set up here. This is already looking suspicious as is. All right, so let's go check it out. If I remember correctly... Yeah, wait a minute. I put the DJ set right over here, and now it's gone. It's literally gone. It's back to the way it was before. Why do I feel like she was the one who sabotaged? It. If there's two gold blocks in here, that might be our first clue. All right, it's a gold ingot. I gave her a cat music disc, which she already had. If anything, she would have put the music disc back in here, which she would have had two of these. So let's uh, let's keep snooping around here and see if we can find it. Wait a minute. What about in this jukebox? Hold on a second. If a cat music disc falls out of this thing, then she's the culprit. Okay, well, no music this fell out of it. Something is really sketchy on the server, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't see any hidden music discs anywhere. All right, what does she got going on in this house over here? Don't see any music discs here either. No chest or any furniture whatsoever in here. So yeah, maybe it wasn't her then. I don't know. I don't think she would do that on her own birthday, right? That sounds pretty messed up, if you ask me. Do you guys have any guesses on what could have happened with the DJ set that I made? I feel like he got mad because I never gave him any surprise gifts. So maybe he got a little jealous and decided to tear it down. I feel like it wasn't Miss Pickle though. She seems way too nice to do something like that. So it's gotta be Dylan. I'm blaming it all on Dylan. I'm gonna have to confront him next time he gets on. So I actually have something that I really wanted to show you guys. I was doing a little bit of work off camera and well, this is not what I wanted to show you. All right, we just one shot of the creeper. GG's. But yeah, as you guys can see, we built this little platform here in the water in front of our little mountain empire we got going on over here, which by the way, I've been doing some thinking and I kind of want to make use of this entire mountain landscape eventually, including the water that's in front of it. As you guys can see, I built this little platform here. We got a nice little combination of mossy cobble. We got whatever this is, moss and regular grass, which we're actually going to build our potion shop, which I've been talking about for like the last three videos. We're finally going to do it today. My goal is eventually to make use of this entire mountain and then probably put a giant wall like surrounding it. It's kind of going to look like a city at some point eventually. That's the plan at least. Who knows? My ideas might change in the future, but that's kind of what I want to work on for now. So as you guys know, I've been trying to complete every achievement in the game this season. And one of the achievements that I've been looking at today is kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away, which doesn't seem too bad considering 
considering now that we have a really, really powerful bow. So all we gotta do right now is just find a skeleton. My goal is to do at least one achievement per video. Maybe two if we're lucky enough. All right, so let's go find the skeleton now. Gotta be one out here in the open, right? It's always when I'm looking for a skeleton, that's when I don't find them. Like, why does this always happen to me? All right, respectfully, where are all the mobs? We got a dog here. Yeah, keep barking, buddy. Oh, great. And it's thundering outside. Like, this is not what I need right now. Oh, we got a skeleton. All right, come with me, buddy. So I got to shoot him from 50 meters away. I don't exactly know how far that is in terms of Minecraft, but okay, why are there like so many zombies here? Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, he's so far. This has to be 50 meters, right? Okay, we sniped him. He's out of render distance. All right, bro. This, this got to be it right here. What? That wasn't enough? How far is 50 meters? Bro literally goes out of render distance. Dude, I don't need you guys here. Bro. Oh my god, bro. All right, where's my skelly at? Okay, he's right there. He's out of render distance. I don't know if this arrow... Oh, it hit him. It hit him. Okay. So I sort of have to guess his location. All right, come on. This has to be it. Dude, how is that not far enough? Okay, why is this challenge actually kind of hard? You know what? Let me turn on my render distance. All right, we got another skeleton. We're going to try this one more time. I'm going to stand all the way back here. Oh, we got him. What? Dude, how far is 50 meters? Nah. All right, I'm gonna get him this time for sure. I got an idea. We're gonna box him up. Actually, this is good. We need, we need you to stay there. Nice. Okay, now he can't get out. Now he's trapped in this little box. We're gonna go all the way up. I don't think he can knock me down from here. Yeah, nice try, buddy. If this doesn't work, then I don't really know what else to do here. Okay, this should be high enough. It's actually snowing how high I am. Okay, well, we're gonna just aim this down. I don't see him down there. But hopefully he's still in that box. Well, this does not seem to be working. The arrows are going in that little box. I just don't see him on my screen. So what happened here? Did he just despawn because I went way too high? Because he didn't even drop any loot. All right, you know what? I got an idea for this. We're going to have to waste a name tag. Skeleton in question, we're going to name him Melvin. Oh my God, there we go. Yes, stay there, stay there. There we go. No, bro, I was... Dude, I almost had him. No, yes, we got him. We got him. Ha, 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 ha. All right, we're going to name you Melvin. Now we got to go up 50 blocks. Now that I name tagged him, he should not despawn. We should be able to get this achievement. As long as he doesn't get out of that hole. Nah, he's still in there. All right, so now we just go all the way up. All right, really, Melvin? Is that how you're going to do me like that, bro? I'm trying to help you out here. All right, there we go. This should work this time. Can we still see him? Yes, we do. Okay, that's a good sign. Can we still see Melvin? No, we don't. Um. Okay, I guess... This should be high enough. We're going to turn our render distance all the way up. Now we just got to spam arrows down there. Did he despawn? No, I killed him. What? I got the kill. That was definitely 50 meters away. Oh, what the? And I lost my name tag for that? Are you serious? Well, I guess that achievement might just be a fail then. I don't know how else I'm supposed to beat it if the skeletons despawn after I go too far. There's no way. Did I already beat it by somehow? Like... No, I didn't. What if I drop TNT on him, maybe? I don't know. Wait a minute. Dylan's on the server right now, and I think now would be a good time to confront him because I got to know if he stole the birthday gift that I gave to Maddie. Of course. Totally. You can have them both. Well, well, well. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get me out of here. <laughs> Yo, where did he go? Yo. Why is he swimming away? Why is he swimming away? Yeah, he knows what he did. I, I have no idea. Wait, what did he do? Uh, he knows exactly what he did. He stole my birthday gift that I gave to Maddie. <laughs> what is he trying to do? Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, respectfully, he needs to get back up here. I'm gonna go chase him. You got this, I believe. There I am. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back yeah. down here. We're gonna have a chat. Yeah, come on. We're gonna have a little chat. Wait, don't, don't leave proximity. Where do you think you're going? Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. I'm falling. Come back here. We gotta talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. No, no, bro. What do you want to talk about? The cameras are out, bro. Hold up. The cameras are out. Get over Yo, here. what you doing, bro? I just want to talk, man. Get in the boat. No, the I don't want to get in the boat. Get in the I boat, bro. The I boat, just want to talk to you, man. You We're... can talk to me right here, man. I'm going to hand you okay. a piece of paper, all right? And I, wa I want you to just go ahead and read that for me. Why don't you go ahead and pick that up and tell me what that says? Okay. Well, this says by Maddie, so... Yeah, so basically what happened was, right... All right, wait, wait, let me read this. Hold on, hold on, let me read this. Your formula. Wow, I have so much to tell you. I logged on to Forecraft and was so stoked to see your gift. That was so kind and truly made my birthday so special. But I stepped away for just a moment to restock my sugarcane store. And then when I came back, a thief must have broken it and stole it. <laughs> Why are you and laughing? Destroyed you everything. Laughing? They took the entire DJ station and dipped. This wait, is a wait. pretty serious matter. You know, I worked really hard on that birthday present, which, by the way, I was the only one to give her a birthday present. So, like, Yanni, uh... 
Where's the say Wait, about who this you're possible? Slipping Ma- you're, you're slipping Maddie drinks? It says the drink was lit. <laughs> Yo. You should have not have showed me this. That's crazy, bro. bro. You said the drink. She nah, said the nah, drink don't, was don't, lit. Don't try to flip this on me now, bro. Listen, I no, gave- you know, no, I'm also going to flip it on you because I don't know if you're bringing this to me thinking like I did something. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm just I saying. I remember like- you said, oh, I'm going to give her like a disc maybe since she has like a DJ thing. So you're basically the only one that even knew she had that. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is, do you know who might have been the thief oh i thought you were trying to say it was me why'd you say you want to have a talk because i want to know who the thief is you, right, you, me out. I got you don't it. think it's her <laughs> yeah, yeah Only- you know there's two possible suspects it's either you or mickey all right wait no she can't hear us okay we're good um but she's standing right there she's watching us she knows yeah. we're up to no good but that also could mean that maddie could have self-sabotaged i feel like that's what she did right. yeah see see you know stuff just ain't adding up right nah bro we gotta you're, you're hit you're hit <laughs> I made the gift. Why would I make it and then destroy it? That makes no sense. That makes perfect sense because you're basically like under the radar, you know? No, it doesn't work like that. Get back my DJ station. Yeah, bro. You know exactly what that means. And I'll tell you why. Because I looked in her chest and she did not have an extra music disc. The one that I left there. Yeah, so how would i have known that that was there you know what buddy you're not really making much sense here nah, you're trying bro. to frame someone they're gonna try to make everyone else look bad oh he did it when in reality it's the guy right there under the mask what yeah you did it go ahead and go wait, ahead and wait, take, wait. A, take a read take actually, a read actually Dylan, i got a question why were you running away in the first place because i, I just yeah, didn't want to talk to you yeah right Dude, right see this guy is so weird so we can ask uh mickey right here and we'll see what she thinks because all right first of all what's going on back there oh why, hey why are they stuck <laughs> in the boat over there <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of looking at me weird though he's guilty he is guilty, right? That's, See, the, that's what that, I'm saying. That's what, that's what happens whenever y'all try to frame somebody. Like, hey, you can go check my base. Go check it. Matter of fact, I will. Where is your yeah, base? Right. Going there right now. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, you think you're funny, don't you? How them thorns go? I'm trying to go to the Nether. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. See. Ya. Oh my god, I gotta get to Dylan's base before he does. I can't let Dylan win this. I know he has the extra music disc. I should have looted his chest. All right, we're in his base. Hopefully, he didn't follow me back here. So, we're gonna go check his chest and see if he had the extra music disc. Aha! Wait a minute. We got a cat music disc. That's a little suspicious, considering that was the disc that I left over there. Yeah, it looks like that's the only extra music disc. I don't know if he had that one before, but yeah, something's a little fishy here. What do you think you're doing here, buddy? Yeah, you know what, bro? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being framed yo, by- yo. Oh, yo, yo. I'm sick of being framed. Framed for what? It's crazy. Your own boys will do this to you too. That's the crazy part. You know what? I think <laughs> I just I think I just got to do it, bro. I think I just got to do it. Not in my house. Better get out of here, bro. You think that bow scares me? How, what is that? Power one? You know what? That's it. No, no. Get out. Shoo, you dirty rat. Get out. Oh, all right. That's it. Yeah, no, that, that's bro, it. Bro, chill, it. chill. Bro, I'm level 70. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You're level 70. Yes. <laughs> show me. Show me. Violence is not tolerated in my house. Oh, there's some coal. I needed coal no, for a long time. No, don't touch my house. Do not. Bro. Yo, imagine. <laughs> Do- don't touch. I use silk touch, bro. I'm smarter than that. All right. You know what? Nah, bro. You want to keep playing that game? Just admit you stole the goods, all right? See, that's just insane, the fact that you do that. Because I heard through the grapevine that Maddie did it all herself. She set it up. What grapevine? Yeah, yeah she set it up. She did it herself. How yeah. do you know that? Wait, how do you, so, how do you so feel wait, that? Wait, so what you're how saying, you feel? wait, what you're saying is she didn't like my present? No, she did it. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> yeah, so now so now who looks like the goofball? <laughs> I'm gonna go sit here and cry. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's the last time I'm ever giving anyone gifts on this server. Yeah, it's okay, bro. We'll get through this because guess what? I got something we can do. So I'm gonna make about a thousand of these white banners and we're gonna go toilet paper her house all over. So yeah, man, are you in for the mission? You know, I was gonna build a potion shop, but that could wait. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it could definitely wait because this uh this business needs to be resolved. I literally worked so hard on that present, bro. I spent like an hour making that. Mickey said that she was streaming on a second account or something and she watched her break it herself and said that she was going to frame somebody. Ain't no way. Yeah, so like the snakes will be snake. That's crazy. I don't know who wait, to believe. You- but when I gave Mickey the book, she said it was you. Why wouldn't she say it was Maddie right off the start? Yeah, you know what, bro? I don't know if I believe you. Bro, come on, bro. We just gotta, you know, just go with the flow here for a second. <laughs> 
Maybe you shouldn't have given her that drink. What drink did you give her? Just a little potion. Yeah, what was in that potion? Some special treats. I don't I know if I want to partake in this crime, though. Let's go ahead and mess it up. Let's mess it up a little bit. Let's nah, break see, this. Look, at, look at all the trouble you're causing on the server. First, you TP in this girl's house. You probably stole the DJ set. Yes. Look at you. Look at you. Now you're stealing? Bro, this is crazy. Nah, for you know someone, what? I, for I, someone... I, I don't want to be a part of any of this, all right? I'm out of here, bro. I don't want to be a part of this. I got better things to do than ruin people's day. On their birthday, especially. Oh, 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 oh my god. All right, I'm getting griefed by everybody. Oh my god. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're basically making a little platform for where we're going to put our potion shop. So this should look like a pretty decent pattern. We're keeping the same theme going along the entire thing. I really like the way Mossy Cobble looks because it kind of gives it like that potion, like just witch mysterious looking vibe. So that's kind of what we're going to go with today. All right, so let's just fill this all the way in. There we go. And now we can build our shop on this little platform. I really like that we got dolphins over here because they just make me swim so much faster than using the boats. Okay, so right now we're working on making our potion shop shop i ended up going with this sort of design i kind of like the dark witch sleek look to it i really like the use of these cherry logs how they go with the deep slate bricks i don't know it kind of fits the vibe of what we're going for here i'm probably gonna make two entrances to it so one in the front one in the back and then the sides i'm not too sure what i want to do with the sides yet but wait a minute something's uneven here so we're gonna try to make this go up to two stories high i think that should be a decent amount so the first story will just be for display the second story is where we're gonna sell all the potions all right well we finished the second floor now we just gotta add Add in some flooring in here and we got to do the roof and the interior okay wait this wood actually looks pretty nice with this build i'm trying to really spice up the color palettes that we're going with this season I'm trying to get really creative with the way these builds look and not mean to fall down so let's see how that looks okay that actually blends pretty well together i like how the first floor looks a lot thicker than the second floor even though it's actually the same on the inside so the roof might actually be a little bit of a challenge let's see what kind of blocks we got going on over here we're gonna try to make a witch's hat so we're gonna use some of this amethyst block Obsidian would actually look pretty good. Well, well, well. 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 Um, look who decided yeah. to leave me out. Yeah, it's all yeah. good. You guys go on your little adventure, your little expedition. That's all yeah, good. Yeah, bro. I got so much stuff, bro. Yeah, well, Dude. what do you want from me, man? I want it all. Take it off. Bro, get away from me. Give it all back, bro. You're just, you're just gonna let him do this to me? She's in on it. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, no that's, way. That's Yo, my, that's my, that's my sidekick. Oh. Cool shop you got, but you, you owe your life. Wait, so you're so the I'm sidekick? Tired. You're just gonna let him call you a sidekick like that? Nah, bro, no way. I'm tired, I'm tired of being snaked. Snaked? Bro. Bro, get away. Stop. This is crazy, bro. I'm being attacked at my own base. Get away from me, bro. <laughs> Dude, seriously, get away from me. I have so much stuff in my inventory, bro. It's not even funny. Dude, get away! You know what? Nah, we're not doing that. The combat log. Oh, he thought he did something. He did something. Dude, stop. My, my stuff is going to be at the bottom of the ocean, you idiot. Get away from me. Hey. All right, are you going to play that? All right, cool. Dude, I dude, you're an idiot. You're actually an idiot. Keep crying. I'm about to get off. Nah. Keep, keep crying. <laughs> nice walls. No. He bro thinks he's playing Fortnite. He's building. Get him. Dude, stop. Stop. I have a lot of levels. Dude, you're an idiot. You're actually an idiot. Why did I deserve that? Because you did. You're the one who stole, not me. Yeah, see? There you go again. You know, I thought we were friends, bro. Well, clearly we're not. No, we're not. Ask Mickey, hey, what did you tell me earlier? What did what did Maddie do? I was watching her stream and she broke it down herself. That's, nah, that's all good. Nah. Yeah, see? See? And look at you. You then, wanted then to come why, over then, to me. Then why would you make yourself look so sus and run away? Because. Also, get my arrows back. Don't worry, bro. Since I feel bad, I'll give you a present. I don't need your present. You're going to want this. It's good for your shop. One cocoa bead. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can't make potions with this. You can use this diamond and Mickey shop to get all your levels back plus more. So there you go, man. All right. So we made some small adjustments. We added some lanterns to the outside. We also installed some window panels on the top and the bottom over here. So actually, let's go ahead and put some windows in here right now. So for the windows, we're going to keep the same type of pattern that you guys all know and love. We're going to make this an entrance and then we're going to come back over here. We're going to do a completely random pattern here, just like that. And then we're going to add some windows windows to the top for some natural lighting as well oh, by the way look at the ceiling that actually looks amazing i think this would look really good if we added some lanterns to it we also got a ladder entrance going up just to save some space so for the outside we can actually get a little bit creative here we can add a little cherry blossom tree okay let's add one on each side actually oh wait we got a mushroom oh my gosh that actually looks insane okay guys well after grinding for so long we finally managed to finish the potion shop we did the interior and the exterior so let's go take a full 
full tour and check it out. So as you guys can see, it looks absolutely insane. It actually looks exactly the way I want it to look. It basically looks like a witch's or wizard's like dream house. So we're going to get off the boat here. We're going to take a look around the island. We got some nice details when you walk up in here. You know, it's just pleasant. It's vibrant. When you guys take a look, there's two entrances. You walk into the back door or the front door, depending on what you like. And right away, you can see that it looks like a little workshop on the first floor. You got the brewing stands. We got some paintings, whatever this is growing from the ceiling. Yeah, it actually looks like a pretty decent workshop here. We even got the netherwork growing in the middle. But as you guys see over here, we got the ladder of where all the goods are going to be stored. So when you come up here, it looks absolutely amazing. The ceiling turned out incredible. You can see everything the way it's supposed to look. So we got two walls over here. We got the standard potions, which I'm going to be selling one diamond for one potion. All you got to do is just replace the potion with the diamond that you're making a purchase with. And I even included a little deal. So if you buy two potions, you get one for free. So we're going to have to start brewing soon and get this stocked up for tomorrow. And we also got the deluxe wall. As you guys can see, we got the glowing item frames for that. We got deluxe potions for sale for two diamonds for one potion. These are going to be the potions that are going to be a little bit harder to to make with a little bit special ingredients like puffer fish and like fermented spider eyes potions are actually a little bit of a grind believe it or not so you know a lot of people are not going to want to brew them themselves so hopefully they'll come over here and buy them off of me and i also included a special request with paper over here so what people can do is they can make a request they can go right over here to the anvil they want to say that I need night vision and i need four of them so this is going to be the example. We're going to throw that in there. And then we're just going to let the paper just roll over here. So it should look like this when people actually place an order. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, maybe I'll make it a little bit more clear for the instructions. But if you guys have any more suggestions of what I should add to this, look at the ceiling, bro. I love the ceiling, man. This is absolutely insane. This is honestly one of my favorite builds I've ever done in Minecraft. I spent a lot of time on this, believe it or not. Probably took me like total of five six hours i probably started and restarted this build so many times but now i guess all we got to do left is just to stock it up it definitely fits the theme of the base that we're going for here too which i really like all right so let's get to work we're gonna go all the way up here we got the brewing stands already ready to go all right so we got some basic ingredients here so let's actually convert some of this into blaze powder wow this actually does take a long time so hopefully i'm getting decent value out of making the, all these potions so to start we're gonna make a potion of water breathing okay so now what we could do is make it last a little bit longer it only is three minutes but with the redstone we can get it up to eight minutes and there we go we got the water breathing potions so next up we're gonna make potion of strength now i don't know if i should be making potion of strength plus or potion of strength two the difference is one is stronger the other one lasts longer wow take a look at our inventory this actually looks incredible i'm probably gonna spend all tomorrow morning just stocking up the entire shop but for now i think we got to give a sample to everybody on the server okay guys i just spent like 30 minutes creating this flyer and let me tell you this is one of the best things i've ever created so here we go huge announcement for Orm's Magical Brewery. All right, wait, that sounds way too zesty. Orm's Freaky Fixtures. Yeah, we like that. Is now open for business. Come on down and sip on an ice cold, refreshing, juicy potion. Have one or two or so many you lose count. Limited potions are now available. Come try them before they're all gone. New flavors are coming shortly. Everyone leaves a happy and satisfied customer guaranteed. However, there's a disclaimer. Form is not responsible for any of the side effects of trying his potions. Side effects may include nausea, dizziness, diarrhea, confusion, vomiting, loss of hearing and vision, stomach pains, heart failure, or even death. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to Forms Base and savor a cold one today. We also even got some customer reviews. All right, we got a five-star rating. These potions knocked my socks off from Nick830. All right, it doesn't get any more legit than that. Now we're just gonna copy the book. We're gonna make another one and another one. So you know what? Since everyone's getting a sample and I spent a lot of time on this brochure, I think I'm just gonna give everybody a really, really good potion. That way they're guaranteed to go visit my shop. So we got Potion of Strength 2, which is one of the best potions in the game i think this will make everybody pretty happy you know i actually just gave myself an idea so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a little chest here and we're gonna let people know to leave a customer review there we go we got the book and quills so if anyone wants to leave a review hopefully positive that'll be great all right so here we are at mickey's base oh my gosh bro she has been grinding okay i see the mob farm looks a little different too all right well we're gonna leave this right here where she can't miss it i put that there and that there all right next up we got dylan now even though me and dylan have had some beef earlier today in this episode you know i'm willing to put it beyond me because you know business is business i need some diamonds okay we're gonna put this chest right here i'm gonna put the potion in there and that and there we go we're gonna leave one for maddie as well oh this guy's the nautilus shell oh my god i kind of need this 
Oh, I got it. Let's go. But yeah, guys, I think today was honestly a pretty successful day. We finally got our potion shop running. I think I'm going to add more potions overnight off camera. So hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. I try to make it an extra long one for you. It would really mean the world to me if you guys could drop a like on the video. That's all I ask from you guys. And subscribe if it's your first time watching. Thank you for enjoying this series. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Asvidanya.